Well, yeah, the athlete's village is something special and, you know, it's quite hard to explain what it's like. I was 16 uh, when I went to the Olympic Games, so just getting on the team bus was fairly intimidating for me. Yeah, it's pretty um, crazy, actually. It was quite exceptional. It was uh, Atlanta, 96, so it was all the bells and whistles. You go into a village and something like 4,000 athletes and, and, and support staff all in the one location. You've got a, a, a dining hall and a food hall that would seat probably 2,000 at once, you know, with all the different types of cuisines, all the different types of takeaway type food. That's something that is just different in itself. So it was flashy things and I spent way too much time in the games room and I'm sure I, I lost some energy for it. You know, it was wow. <laughs> You're preparing for the Olympics, you know you're going to the Olympic Village, um, but for my first Olympics, it only hit me when I got there. I was shocked at what I saw some athletes eating um, before they competed, great after you finished competing, um, but that was probably one of the things that really surprised me. So bringing my mind back to the task, and that was performance and getting it off, um, just being there for an experience. The Olympic Village is, is one of your fondest memories when you go to Olympic Games and you're there for one occasion and, and that occasion is very special but you're there for also a purpose to perform for Australia and, and to hopefully bring home a gold medal. One of the best parts of the Olympic experience was that those older athletes were really mentors for me and were able to help me through that process of um, what can be very intimidating walking into an Olympic athlete village with some of the best athletes in the world.